Hello, good morning. Happy Friday. Thank God it's Friday. All of that stuff for those of you who are working hard on the way to work, at work already, or getting up for work. This is Willie Legonier of the New York Power Couple, and today is day 21 of the series Ayanla Van Zant Acts of Faith. This is the self portion I bring to you this morning. You are as much as you are right now. This is a Yoruba proverb. We have such poor images of ourselves that we have difficulty understanding the good in others see in us. When someone gives us a compliment, we are quick to point out what is wrong. When someone supports or encourages us, we remind them of our failures. We play ourselves down to such a degree that others begin to question the faith that they have in us. This vicious cycle can only lower our already low self-esteem. Today is a good time to rethink our thoughts about ourselves. We can accept the compliments we receive when we give them to ourselves first. We can build our confidence by celebrating our small victories and successes. We can support the trust. Okay, I'm sorry. We can support the faith and trust others have in us by supporting and having faith in ourselves. It all begins with our willingness to acknowledge that we are really fine just the way we are. I really am okay with me. Wow. Loving the skin you're in. That's how I got, that's how I'm reading that. Um, it's so critical, so crucial to your uh, personal development, your self-love, and more importantly, the love of others. Too many of us are loving other people and neglecting ourselves, and when others don't reciprocate the way we anticipate that they should, there's a problem. The problem is a fundamental one. No one can build for you what you need to build for yourself because basically even though they're looking at you butt naked, they never know what those issues are, what those concerns are, what those assets you need are. Only you know what they are. So continue building yourself unabashedly. You don't have to be braggadocious. You don't have to be conceited. You don't have to be arrogant. You don't have to be selfish about it. However, you can engage in some self-love and self-care. That is healthy. So that's all I got for you today. Um, join me at noon, sometime today, noon, for the lunchtime chat where I'll be talking about that health thing. Yeah, you know, that thing that we always need to be mindful of but often neglect. Yes, your health and what you should be doing. All right, ciao. See you around. Good morning. Welcome to the morning series, Jump Your Morning. This is Willie Legonier of the New York Power Couple. And I am reading from Ian Levanzant's Acts of Faith book. This is day 22. If you'd like to find out my other pieces, um, the other 21 pieces, uh, just do a hashtag, the New York Power Couple. Or you can do hashtag Ask Willie, W-I-L-L-Y, and Daria. Or you can do hashtag Our Mindset. Okay, I'm going to jump right into it. This is day 22, and it reads as follows. God isn't alarmed when we hit rock bottom. He made the rock. This is from a Baptist minister. Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. I like that. So, there are times in our lives, by the way, I'm reading, this is the self portion. So this is the first quarter of this great book, right? Anyway, there are times in our lives when we feel that there is no way up or out. Illness, poverty, confusion, loneliness, desperation. 
they take us to they take us to a place called rock bottom in these times you may feel weak and vulnerable and it's easy to lose faith in your ability to go on it is exactly in these times that you must turn to the infinite power within yourself you must know the answer is exactly where you are the strength you need the answer you want the solution that will turn the situation around is you if you can put aside the anger, fear, weakness, and desperation just for a minute, you will remember the order the other time, excuse me, and you were at the bottom and how in the moment, miraculously, you were lifted up. There is no spot where God is not. Wow. That, <laughs> Lord have mercy. I, I remember my own rock bottom moments and that's what they were moments i've had a few of them and many of you i'm sure can testify to your own situation and i think the tendency is we get consumed by our feelings it, it is scientifically proven that our feelings are a lot stronger than what we think right hey linda and um it's critical that when you are in those moments, you use your feelings to propel you to the next moment, not stagnate you. So case in point, I remember when my second wife left me, um, I, was, I was in my feelings. I, 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 everything was just turning upside down. I was behind in my rent. I got demoted at work. Um, I drank too much. Uh, I mean, all kinds of stuff was happening. I wasn't cleaning my house. In fact, one of my coworkers was so concerned about me, came to my house, my apartment, because I used to work around the corner from uh, um, where I lived, came to my house, and I was in such a state, I opened the door in my underwears. I couldn't even get dressed. And it wasn't until I recognized that this too shall pass and I had to accept the reality of that situation that, you know, she left me, she took my son, she was not coming back, she, she's with somebody else. There opened the door for my road to recovery. So... All the drinking that I was doing didn't help me. All the possessions that I had in the apartment didn't mean anything to me. The apartment itself didn't mean anything. The only thing that made sense was the fact that I wanted to have my life back. Not my life with her, but the life that I had while I was with her, the life that I had before I met her, and the life that I was going to embrace after she was gone. I mean, I can go on and on and on, but I, I, I'm saying this to you right now, that whatever it is you're going through, truth of the matter is, you carried yourself there, and you can carry yourself out. I'll leave you with that, and tomorrow will be day 23. See y'all in the morning. Have a great, powerful day, whatever you're going to do today. Happy Saturday.